Hi, this is Jeff, G8OFQ, uh, with another short video about remote operating using the remote rig system made by Microbit from Sweden. And I'm going to look here at uh, uh, remote controlling using a smartphone application from Microbit called the RRC Nano. There are several versions available depending on what uh, sort of rig you have. In this case, I'm using the Elecraft version to control uh, a K3. The app is still under development by Michael from Microbit, so the capability is a little bit limited at the moment, although it does have capability for the essential operating of the rig. And in the not too distant future, hopefully he will update it with further controls and, and greater capability. Uh, but here we have the essential uh, controls and uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, the screen. Unfortunately, uh, because it's in the development stage, uh, there's no uh, landscape uh, picture on it. It's, uh, it's a portrait and I've got the phone in landscape mode here. So uh, you'll just have to, uh, to tilt your head 90 degrees on the side there to, uh, to, to read the, uh, the controls. Uh, but essentially what we have here are VFOA and VFOB at the top. And uh, underneath that we have the VFO control, uh, rotate to, to change frequency. Uh, we can also change frequency by tapping on the, uh, the frequency indication and then you just uh, tap in whatever uh, frequency uh, you want uh, and uh, press OK. Uh, underneath that uh, we have the tuning step control. Uh, in this case I have auto selected. And as you can see, the, uh, the, the tuning step is uh, fairly uh, sensitive, although we can, if you want to, uh, select a 1 kilohertz uh, tuning step. Or, if you want to change frequency more rapidly, uh, there's 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, and if you want to move from one end of the band up to the other, then there's 1 megahertz uh, tuning step. Underneath that, or next to that rather, we have the uh, filter control here set to 2.7 uh, kilohertz. Up the top we have the, uh, the band control, uh, up and down arrows for band up, band down, and a mode uh, button. So here we have the 20 meters set to upper sideband. Underneath the VFO uh, control knob we have the PTT switch. Uh, you can set it for uh, tap to uh, transmit and uh, tap to go back to receive or you can set it to tap and hold for transmit and release to go back to receive. Uh, then underneath that uh, we have the split uh, frequency controls. Uh, we have the A slash B, uh, A equals B frequency. Uh, we have the split button to activate split uh, uh, transmission and we have a, a split reverse so uh, you can set on the, uh, the transmit uh, frequency. And then underneath that we have the four pre-recorded uh, voice memory channels. And then finally at the bottom uh, we have the volume control. So there are the essential uh, operating buttons to control the rig. I also have um, a remote desktop uh, which controls the uh, rotator and the uh, step IR uh, and the linear amplifier and also other equipment in the shack. Uh, for controlling the rotator, I use uh, PST Rotator uh, Azimuth, a, a very good program, and uh, it's available on the internet uh, to download. Costs, I think, uh, maybe 20 euros, something like that, but definitely worth, uh, worth the money. Lots of features on it, which I won't go into uh, in this case, but uh, you can uh, control the rotator in several different ways. Uh, then we have the step IR control uh, panel to uh, change the, the band, change the frequency. Uh, you can do the 180 switching uh, uh, and also bi-directional uh, uh, control and you can also calibrate the antenna as well if that uh, needs to be done. Uh, I have um, a couple of other screens as well. Uh, I have the, uh, the HAM QSL uh, solar data uh, status uh, window. I have the weather at the remote location in, in North Germany showing uh, wind speed, direction and temperature. 
and I have the remote rig web switch which I can control the power supplies and switch on other uh, items in the shack such as the air conditioning and the remote antenna switch that uh, grounds all the antennas uh, when going QRT. And then finally uh, we've got a, another uh, world map here for a point, to, uh, point and click to rotate uh, the rotator. Also shows long path and short path uh, directions. So that's the, um, the remote uh, desktop. Uh, I have a couple of other screens uh, available. Um, I, for logging I use something called uh, Hamlog73. Um, it's, uh, it's an app for Android and iOS and it's got a load of very useful uh, apps incorporated in it other than the, the logbook. Uh, it's got a DXCC list, uh, contest calendar, DX cluster, um, it's got a QRA locator which automatically uh, finds your uh, locator for you uh, and a bunch of other things as well so that's, uh, that's quite useful for logging. And then finally we have the uh, DX Summit uh, DX cluster showing uh, some contacts at the moment. A Papa 5 Fox United from uh, the uh, North uh, Korean Republic, which I'm not too sure is, is authentic. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the, um, uh, the remote uh, screens. So let's go back to the uh, rig uh, control, the RRC Nano for the K3. And let's put out a call and uh, see what we can pull in. Okay, so looking at the DX cluster here, uh, I see we have a 9 kilo 2 November Oscar there in Kuwait. Uh, Mohammed on uh, 14 250. So uh, let's get up to uh, to 14 250 then. Uh, so I'm just going to type in uh, here uh, 14 uh, 250 kilohertz. Okay, and uh, Q8 uh, from Germany, uh, it's about uh, 117 degrees for the rotator, so I'm going to move the rotator around to uh, 117 degrees. Uh, at the moment uh, you can see it's, um, it's pointing uh, 094 uh, over uh, here as the azimuth indicator and uh, the step IR is in 180 mode so I'm going to change it to uh, to normal mode so tap on that red dot shows that the antenna is uh, tuning and then we should see here that uh, the antenna is now pointing uh, 094 and I'm just going to tap in here In fact, I'll just uh, click on 117 on the dial here. That's close enough, 110. And uh, we're going to uh, to activate the uh, the linear to operate. Uh, we're in mid power. We're driving up to 750 uh, watts. And so let's go back to the control screen here. 14250. We've got and uh, we'll give him a shout and uh, see if he comes back to us. Uh, Golf 8 Oscar, Foxtrot, Quebec. Yes, okay, uh, Mohammed. Very good evening, and uh, thanks for the report there from Kuwait. As always, Mohammed, your big signal also 59 plus uh, 15 to 20 into the north of Germany. Good luck with the pile up there, Mohammed. 73 and have a good weekend. A 9 kilo 2 Norway Oscar DL stroke a GA to FQ. Shukran Jazeera and Masalama. Bye. Thanks a lot. 73. Bye bye. Okay, so there we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, very little latency on the signal, and uh, a five nine plus twenty into uh, Q eight. So well, let's see what else we can get.
Okay, looking at the DX cluster again, uh, we have here uh, Alpha 41 Oscar Oscar from uh, Oman uh, in the same direction as Q8. So let's see if we can uh, pick up uh, him. He's on uh, uh, what frequency was he on? Uh, 14180. So we'll uh, get down to uh, 14180 and see if he can hear us. And this is Khalid in uh, Muscat. We'll just wait for him to finish his QSO. Uh, Golf 8, Oscar, Foxtrot, Quebec. Oscar, Fox, Queen, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah Roger, uh, Khalid, uh, good evening. Uh, this is Delta Lima, stroke, Golf 8, Oscar, Fox, Quebec, in the north of Germany. The name is Jeff, and you're a big signal, uh, uh, Khalid. Uh, you're 5, 9, plus 20, over. Thank you, Oscar, Delta Lima, stroke, Golf 8, Oscar, Fox, Quebec, in the yeah, Roger, Khalid. Many thanks indeed for the 5-9 into uh, Muscat. Uh, enjoy the pileup. Good luck, 73. Masalama. Bye-bye. Okay. There we go. So that's uh, Khalid from, uh, from uh, Oman. Uh, maybe we'll try uh, one more. Okay, one last uh, contact. Let's see if we can get uh, Kazu-san here. Japan Hotel 3, November Golf Delta on 14157. So let's uh, go to uh, rig control, uh, 14157, enter, and Japan 040 degrees uh, azimuth uh, on the rotator, so click 040. Rotators moving, uh, we have mid power, 750 watts, and uh, we're operating. So let's uh, give Kazu-san a call. Okay, talking to an Italian, so we'll just wait for him to finish. Golf 8 Oscar Foxtrot to Quebec. Golf 8 Oscar Foxtrot to Quebec. Over. Yes, okay, Kazu san, uh, good morning. Uh, this is Jeff, uh, Delta Lima, stroke Golf 8 Oscar Foxtrot Quebec. Delta Lima, stroke, Golf 8, Oscar, Foxtrot, Quebec, Kazusan, uh, good morning. Uh, you're 5959 plus, QSL. Hello, I'm Delta. Uh, Germany 8, Oscar, Fox, Quebec, Very, very easy copy. Japan, how are you? 
Yes, okay, Kazu san. Well, lovely to hear you again. And a lovely strong signal as always, Kazu. And uh, yes, you are also my local FM station here in Germany. Uh, my QTH Hamburg in the north of Germany, Kazu san. Good to hear you. Thank you very much for the short contact. All the best to you, Kazu, and uh, we'll uh, have another contact with you again a little bit later. 73, Kazu-san, have a nice weekend. Uh, Japan Hotel 3, November Golf for Delta, Delta Lima, Stroke Golf 8, Oscar, Foxtrot, Quebec. Uh, 73, uh, Domo Arigato, Sayonara, Kazu, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Kazu san. Have a nice weekend. 73, Arigato, Sayonara, bye bye. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you next time. Next time, we'll have a long time. Arigato, ciao, Sayonara, Sayonara, ciao, ciao. <laughs> Kazu san. <laughs> uh, Okay, so there we go. That's uh, remote operating uh, using a smartphone uh, with the Microbit RRC Nano. <laughs> 